Sorry guys, I had to get that off my chest. I haven't shared my appreciation for awesome, beautiful, soft chocolate chip cookies in a very, very long time. I mean, Bessie already knows that I really, really love cookies. That's why she cooks me up cookies. Luckily, from uh, yesterday, as you guys probably know, she was massive. She kind of shrunk back down, okay? I fed her some regular cookies, and it kind of counteracted, you know, the crazy effects of the chemical cookies. Now, if you guys missed that, definitely go check out my last video. But guys, if you are here for today's video, it is going to be absolutely amazing. Amazing. If we check out this book right here called Wizard Bessie, I haven't told you this before, but I am actually a 500 year old wizard. I want to pass down my magical powers to you because I know you are a noob scrub and need some extra help. Say the word Shazam. Love, Wizard Bessie. Wait, so you're actually a 500 year old wizard cow. Um, okay, I probably should have guessed that since, you know, she has her own laboratory and she always can come back to life somehow. But Bessie was saying I can have her magical powers passed down to me, and uh, that definitely sounds amazing. All I have to say is the words Shazam! What the heck just happened? Um, okay, what the? Okay, so the lightning came out of nowhere. Um, oh, what the? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I can fly. Wait a second, can I summon in? Yo, I can summon in more lightning. What the heck is going on? I have armor? Wait a second. Yo, I actually turned into Shazam. I have magic, strength, speed, fire resistance, water breathing, flight, and uh, acrobatics, which, you know, I don't even care about. I'm more happy that I can just spam lightning. Look at this dude. Oh, oh, maybe, man, some zombie pigment. That's okay, yep. I'm just gonna wreck them nonetheless. But guys, look at this. Rodney, look at me. I am Shazam, who is like one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Guys, if you are excited for today's video, definitely do not forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and also tap that little bell so you never miss out on a brand new video. But I'm guessing, you know, for every single superhero, Bessie wants me to take down some mobs. So let's check it out. Bessie has uh, zombie pigmen, iron golems, catwoman, a mantis, mobzilla, and even Loki. Let's start out super basic and just see what my superpowers are. So I know for a fact I can fly around. I'm not the fastest flyer, but I do have a really cool looking cape. And I know if I hit G, okay, I can summon in super powerful lightning. Now, if I press shift, I should just go straight back down to the ground. I have insanely cool speed. Look at this. Look how fast I am. Now, Shazam is pretty much almost like a Superman type superhero. He has like super strength. He has flight. He doesn't have, you know, all of Superman abilities, uh, but he does have the lightning ability, which should be good enough, in all honesty. So let's get down an army of awesome zombie pigmen and just absolutely demolish them. I wonder how much damage my lightning actually does. I kind of didn't really look earlier. But yeah, let's test this all out. We have so many zombie pigmen. All right, dude, I'm getting a little bit scared. One punch to the face just immediately destroys them. Hold on, what if I do lightning? Oh my gosh, that does nine attack damage, but I can literally spam it. Look at this, I can spin in circles and just spam my lightning ability. Sorry, I kind of set Rodney on fire. That's okay, though. Let's just wreck you, and we'll wreck all of these guys. Bro, this is insane. These zombie pigmen weren't even able to do one damage to me. I'm pretty sure that my damage is multiplied, too. So if I use this sword, I should do an insanely more amount of damage to every single mob. Let's test it out, though. We have regular iron golem with a super powerful shazam punch i do 52 attack damage what the flip mr iron golem we can work out our problems okay i'm just gonna smack you in the face with a golden sword hold on oh but oh oh i could not even see how much damage that did let's try it out again iron golem with a golden sword it immediately just destroys him this may be one of the most powerful superheroes i have ever checked out guys if you are a big fan of shazam comment hashtag shazam down below in the comment section or if you do want me to check out another superhero comment them down below as well because i do want to check out every single superhero i have a couple in mind such as you know maybe iron man's hulkbuster armor in the future but in the meantime i am curious how shazam does against a huge Rubble Warrior, 170 health. Let's see, I just did 72. 
This guy has insane resistance. It just does not matter. Okay, let's use, uh, what the heck, dude? There, take, take lightning. Hold on, let me just spam the lightning. Yeah, there we go. Okay, come up. Yep, you're doing great. Just, yep, gonna spam this. And it's not really working, so let's try out my golden sword. Why can't I hit this dude? Let's try and fly on top of him. Okay, yeah, that 100% just wrecked him. Oh, hey there, Mr. Creeper. How's it going? Uh, yeah, you're, uh, yeah, he literally just killed himself. There was really no point. I'm Shazam, so I really don't take any damage whatsoever. Let's go see, though, if that is fact. Let's go grab a couple stronger Minecraft bosses to see if I can actually get wrecked by anything. Let's spawn in an Allosaurus. Let's get a Kyubi and also Catwoman. Let's see. They're all just fighting each other, dude. What scrubs? They're so dumb. Do they not know that I could just punch them all one single time and wreck each and every one of them? Oh, let's see. Yep, wreck you. Where? Oh, oh, Catwoman is going really hard after Roddy. Get the heck out of here, Catwoman. We also have Scarecrow, which, okay, yeah, I forgot. He's super blinding. And he does a lot of psychological stuff. So, okay, I just punched him for 52 damage. What the heck? I can't tell if that's my magical abilities or my super strength, but I don't even care. We have the Joker as well, who I'm just gonna absolutely poop on. 150 health. He's trying his best, dude. Look at this. He can't do a single lick of damage to me. My durability is slowly going down, but it's definitely not enough. I just two hit KO'd the flipping Joker. Take this, you biggest peacock cassowary. Wait a did I, huh, take, take this grenade, there, there you go, okay, I can't tell if that's exploding or not, how about these joker cards, can I, oh, okay, I don't think I could use them unless I actually turn into the joker, so let's go head back over here and see if anything can actually challenge me, Mr. Mantis, let's see what you got, 120 health, I won't even use any of my abilities, I'm just gonna use my electrocution, and I'm pretty sure my lightning powers are gonna be enough just to absolutely wreck him, I can electrocute myself, I don't take any damage, I can spam the poop out of it, and literally, dude, I am going to burn him into dust. That was the easiest fight ever. How? How is this guy even possible? He's literally like Superman, but with, you know, giant lightning steroid abilities. It's amazing. We have the Wither Boss as well. Okay, this is gonna be so easy. I can fly up and do insane critical hits, and I think I just punched him six times in order to just wreck him. I'm starting to believe that I am potentially invincible. I'm not entirely sure if anything will stand a chance. Well, we'll see though. We have Loki next up. Okay, Loki, 500 health. Okay, but seriously, Loki, you're you're doing great. But um, it's not even gonna be close. What the heck? Okay, drop the scepter. Oh, can I? What the? Whoa! This thing shoots out cool magical beams. All right, I'll definitely hang on to that. Here you go, Rodney. Yep, all right, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but hopefully it's enough to take down the Basilisk. All right, let's see, if I just spam this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, this does like 18 attack damage. I could just use this to wreck the heck out of the Basilisk, and I could also combine it with lightning abilities, and this guy is not even gonna be able to get close to me. All right, he is really going after Rodney here. I don't wanna accidentally hit Bastion or anything, so let's use my sword. Oh gosh, okay, he's slowing me down, but I should be able to fly away. All right, let's see, oh my gosh, I just wrecked him. Let's see if anything that he drops does more damage than a golden sword. I don't think so, he dropped some pickaxes, but I don't think that it's gonna be enough. But let's see, Bessie wants me to take down Mobzilla last. Okay, normally Mobzilla wrecks any single superhero I put up against him. Let's go over here because, you know, I don't want my house to get absolutely destroyed, and let's test it out. Three, two, one, Mobzilla versus Shazam. Okay, fireballs, not worry about the fireballs, okay? If he gets close to me, normally he could just grab me and stop on me, so I have to make sure it's kind of just stay far away. Let's try out the scepter. Okay, this is actually able to knock him back quite a lot, dude. This is amazing. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna head in for a charge. Three, two, one, charge! Okay, I just got hit back. Literally 300 blocks. Let's try out an aerial attack. Let's just, yeah, we'll spam this as we're going down. We're going in at three, two, one, attack! Oh, oh gosh, okay, oh, okay, yup. He just stomped on my face. I'm not sure if uh, I did any damage to him. Let's see. Okay, no, no damage whatsoever. Oh my gosh. So when he bites me, it's not really that big of a deal. It just sends me flying back. But when he stomps on me, that's where the problem comes in. So we have to make sure to kind of keep our distance. Let's try and head towards his stomach. Okay, one hit with the golden sword did about 50 attack damage, which is pretty good. Mobzilla's resistance is extremely high. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take him out, but I was at least able to make him bleed a little bit. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Don't mind me, I just maybe, you know, hacked in myself a giant world guardian sword to take him out. All right, let's see how much damage this do. Oh gosh, not enough damage. He just kind of wrecked me a little bit. Okay, this does about 100 damage per hit, so I'm gonna need to get a couple more hits on this dude. 
The knockback is just too crazy, man. I can't even get close. I can't get more than one hit off. Look at that. He could just hit me from any single angle. Even when I sneak up on him, it really just does not matter. Let's try and go behind him. Let's drop down super fast. Dude, look at that. That's that's not even fair. Maybe if I summon in my own lightning, I'll be able to spam this little bit. Just just distract him at least a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'm distracting him. Distracting him. Move again. Oh, gosh. How is he hitting me so far? Maybe a ground attack will do the trick. Let's charge. Come on, man. It's not fair. I can't even get a hit off. Even if I'm able to kind of lock myself in right below him, he's just going to stop on my face. It's literally unfair. Okay, wait a second. You always able to knock him back. Hold on, buddy. Yep, I'm going to eat some cooked pork chops. One second. Just, uh, okay, that did not work. He stomped on my face again. Oh, no, he's moving in on my house. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to have to wrap it up there. If you guys did enjoy today's video, do not forget to smash the heck out of that like button. Also, be sure to comment any other superhero you do want to see in the future down below in the comment section. I'm going to battle this dude for the next couple of days. Hopefully, I'm able to take him out. My name is Beckro Shazam, and I will see you guys all back in here tomorrow. Peace out, dudes.